What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up transaction in MetaMask. And I'm only going to be focusing on Ethereum because on other chains, you can speed up as well, but mostly it's concerning when you're on Ethereum network. So when you actually send in a transaction, when you already send a transaction, there's always going to be an option to speed up a button. So you press on speed up button, window is going to pop up and it's going to show you an option that you can choose from and you can just change it over there and then confirm and it's going to speed up transaction so let's say for example if you open up your metamask and in here let's say let's just send something and then choose a wallet and then let's put one ethereum and then next so as you can see at the time of recording the gas fees is 2.08 and it's going to be changing we can either leave it like that and press on confirm and let's say if we're going to have to speed up we're going to be able to see the speed up button and just speed up from there or we can press on market right here and there's going to be a few options either we can lower our transaction it's going to probably going to put in a lower queue and then it's still going to go through but it's going to take some time then we can leave it at the market transaction and then aggressive and then there is always advanced so in this case if you just want to speed up just a by a little bit you can just press on aggressive and then confirm or we can press on advanced so let's take a look at the gas tracker so there is two different ways you can look it up on etherscan.io gas tracker or there's another one as block native so this is another one that's pretty good one as well so let's say if for example right now gas is 34 and you know that something is going to be minting in just a little bit what you need to do most likely even if you're going to start minting and you're going to change to aggressive right here most likely the base fee or the way is going to go up and that aggressive is still going to be behind in the queue so in this case if you are trying to snipe something or be one of the first one you need to increase your gas in advanced so in this case what you can do either if you don't think that the gas is going to go very high you can just increase by a little bit from what you see here or you can increase by a lot so let's say for example aggressive and as you can see the gas price went up just by a little bit so 217 we can go back here and change to advanced and in here there is an option to change it so by default looks like it's kind of doubling or something what you can do though if you really try to snipe something you can set to 100 and then priority fee also set exactly the same and even though it's gonna say higher than necessary but then it's gonna prioritize your transaction yes you're gonna overpay but your transaction is gonna go instantly and you press on save as you can see it went from two dollars to six dollars but you know that your transaction most likely is gonna go immediately and let's say for example if this is something else some kind of hype mint or some kind of very hype coin or something you're trying to mint or you're trying to send and the fees just keep going up and up you can go back here and then change it to 200 300 and maybe even more same thing if you change the priority fees yes you'll have to pay more but your transaction is going to be prioritized and it's going to be processed very quickly as well and then let's say if you are preparing for a mint what you do here you set up transaction fees here and then you press on save and then save so what is it going to do it's actually going to save your setting for next mint or next send that you're going to try to use let's reject and let's try to let's say for example send ethereum somewhere else again and then let's say one and since we already preset 300 way we press next as you can see the gas price is pretty high 18 dollars so if you are trying to just prepare for some kind of mint this is one of the way but make sure once you get done go back edit and then uncheck this check mark and then save so that way after you reject or after you mint something it's not going to be saving your high gas fees and it's going to go back to normal and this is pretty much it this is how you set custom gas fees in metamask wallet